What you got? Silly. No. Between me and you, I wasn't gonna vlog today. This is gonna be a no vlog day. Today has been pretty chill. I am trying to figure out when I'm gonna take these twists out so I can redo them. They look crazy, but the goal was for me the very first time was to just complete them. So I did, I completed the goal, they were done, to the best of my ability for the first round, to say the least, but now it's time for me to redo them so I can do them a little bit better than I did last time. It'll be almost, it's almost a week I've had these in my head. And to be honest, I feel like they've been in my head for about six weeks. <laughs> um, just relaxing. And um, yeah, I'm just relaxing. Kids are at the park. Amelia's off bus. She's with Jeffrey right now. We've been pretty chill today. I woke up really early at 3 a.m. Prepped my morning. Had some devotional time. Y'all ready? All right, about 10 more minutes, okay? We had, yeah, pizza for lunch and we got a grocery pickup coming. I wasn't even gonna vlog, but I just wanna jump on here real quick because I did just finish redoing my twists. And I'm realizing more and more there's definitely a technique to twisting the hair. Um, this is crochet. And I'm like I said, I retwisted my hair tonight. It took a long time. It's not perfect as you can see, but it'll last at least two or three more days. I contacted a woman on the island that has hair, so I'm gonna redo it. But again, I wanted to show you guys really quickly because I am proud of the process I am working with with this hair journey of mine. So I know it's getting hot in Okinawa and I don't want my hair to get you know for me my hair was easier to maintain last season last summer season here with it twisted up so that's kind of what i want to do at least all summer long but i'm gonna go um see you in a little bit bye guys thanks big girl what are you gonna wear today i don't know mom but it's gotta be cute say less Ready? Olivia. Turn around for me. Hold on. Do you like it? Let me see you, let me see you, let me see you. Turn around for me. Turn around for me. No. Please. Okay, I love you. All right, so. Dirty dishes in the sink because I gotta do it. Thought I was gonna wrap, but not today. <laughs> Let me see if I can see me. Can I see me? I can see me in the microwave. Pop you up somewhere better. Real quick, I woke up late today which was not good, not satisfying at all. A little bit 6.30, as you can see, it looks like it. Um, yeah, I just finished, Amelia, Daddy took Amelia to school today, and um, Daddy took Amelia to school today. I just finished doing the boys' hair. It's been a couple of days since I've done their hair, and it, was definitely telling when I went to do their hair because it was very tangly. I told myself I wasn't gonna vlog at all yesterday, but I did like a little, like two pop-ins. I may or may not show them. I made poppy seed chicken last night, didn't show it. Next time I make it though, I will vlog it. Like next time I decide to make poppy seed chicken because it is super easy and it is a super convenient family meal night. I can't stress it enough. It's like four ingredients and it's a casserole dish. If you don't know about it already. I'll show you that next time. I did share with you guys already the Fiesta Chicken. There's a um, viral YouTuber. She shares like easy family ideas and that's where I got Fiesta Chicken from. Poppy Seed Chicken actually came from mom. That's where I got Poppy Seed Chicken from. It's 9.15 already, like it's almost 10 o'clock. I don't know about you guys, when it starts, when it starts to get 
like 9 30 10 o'clock ish i'm like oh my gosh the morning's halfway over the morning pretty much is over by 10 because then it starts to get like brunchy they're a little loud i'll catch a little bit it's not their fault it's just i don't know how much you can really hear me because they're right here so see you later god you call me by my name the love you give me i just can't deny yeah no longer blinded i can see you i'm on my way to meet you we gotta talk you know all these trials and tribulations got me tired i need rest and i heard that i can come to you when weary of my flesh you awaken me from death god i need you no more walking by the flesh that's when i leave you God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, no, I'm a child of God. I don't wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I don't wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus I know you know me well I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are I wonder if you leave for me God, just tell me what you need for me Y'all prefer for kids' toys, do you prefer Disposable batteries or rechargeable batteries? Let me know what you think. Let me tell y'all, I ate that whole plate. Today is not really a over adventurous day, okay? And that's okay. But I'm gonna vlog anyway. I'm gonna vlog anyway. At least a little bit, right? You've seen my day as it is. Kids had some leftover pizza from yesterday. Sort of. They ate like made enough look at this so this my mother-in-law um actually gave this to me for mother's day maybe last year i think it was last year and it's got all the verses or not all i'm sorry it has, it has verses on the cup and it has you are beautiful victorious amazing capable chosen created strong never alone always loved and you are enough and what's cool about it is they have scriptures from where these words are used in the Bible um, to characterize any and every one of God's children. So I think this is such a cool and pretty tumbler. And it's it's held itself for a while now. I will definitely link it um, in the description box. Check it out. I'm pretty sure she got from Amazon. If it's from Amazon, I'm going to link it. So if you're looking for a nice gift to give someone that is a child of God that will appreciate this, then I'm going to share you, share with you where you can find it. So I just want to tell you I ate my plate. I showed you what it looked like before. Then I'm going to show you what it looked like after. Close this. I've seen this in the background for a minute now. I don't even know. Sorry, you guys. If you if that was bugging you, I fixed it. I fixed it. Jacob. Jacob. J. A. A. C. O. B. Jacob. Zachary. Z. A. C. H. A R Y Zachary. Why do you have to pick a flower? Are you picking a flower for me today? Can, you can... Find a, can you find another one for Zachary? Yeah, let's find another one for Zachary. It's okay. 
Jeffrey. J. J. E. E. F. I. F. A. R. R. E. E. Y. So we're gonna get this flower over here. You ready? You said you want a flower, right? Well, this bush is a neighborhood bush, so we can't pick from the flower. Yeah. Just one, just one. And then can you pick one for your brother? For Jeffrey? Where the there we go, give one to Jeffrey. Oh. Where's that type of thingy? Where's that, oh, that thingy, Mom? What thingy? Oh. Don't put your mouth on it though, because... Sitting at the park, waiting on Amelia to get off the bus. Okay, so real quick, I just got to the park with the boys. We decided to come a little early. Something was just, I feel like God was like telling me to get out the house earlier than the bus route time frame. So we are at the park. I actually have a book I plan on reading to the kids, but I haven't read it yet. So let me just tell you, I had a moment with God as I was leaving the house. We were, let me back up. I had another moment. It was me and God, obviously the kids, but we were, and this is the last analogy I'm going to try to bring up about dollars and stuff. It's not the same experience, totally different, but it's crazy that like, I would just take the story. So we're on our way to the park and yes, yeah, but don't put it on. There you go. Go play, go play. We're on our way to the park and we're almost there. Let me show you real quick. So, like, at that area right there where the, like, little bridge is, um, there was a girl and her dog walking. She was walking her dog. She had a bag. So, she was walking with her dog, and um, they were just walking by. And we were on the sidewalk, and they were on the sidewalk, but we were going different directions. We were going to the park. They were headed away from the park. And... I noticed that Jacob was getting a little like he started slowing down Jacob started slowing down and I was like I know he's not scared like in my mind I'm thinking like I know he's not scared like he sees dogs all the time like we have friends that have dogs and he wants to pet them all the time and stuff but in this particular moment he just was like backing up like as the dog and the owner was coming closer to us and I was like are you okay Jacob I was like you know it's just a dog like it's okay like and then I could tell he was he got to the point where he had stopped he stopped and I was like you know okay he's really scared like right now and so I was like it's okay he's like do you want me to go first like I was like well you know what let's just let's just pull up to the side and we'll wait for them to walk by and so we did just that and everything was fine we spoke you know Jeffrey mentioned like oh my gosh there's a doggy like oh my doggy you know so everything was fine but in that moment of Jacob being scared of something that he's seen before he hasn't seen that dog before but he's I mean it was something that I would have guessed that was no different than anything else any other experience God put it on my heart he said right now in this moment God said don't forget to me you're Jacob to me you are my child and you have instances where you get scared and you might have fear and you slow down and you stop but you know that I'm here and it was just one of those moments where it was like breathtaking because it was like oh my like I'm to God I'm a child like to God like yes Okay, well, you have your scooter right there. You have to take turns, okay? Well, well Jeffy's riding it. Okay, but well, just hold on. You guys will take turns. I can't. Just take a break then. Just sit down for a second. Then just sit down. Okay? And it was just something about that moment that just, it was so peaceful. Like, I knew we were fine. Like, I didn't have any fears, any worries, any concerns in that moment. I just knew there was a girl walking her animal, her pet. 
she was walking her dog, just minding her business, just like we were minding ours. But it was just something about that moment where it was like, there are times when I'm not like that. So I definitely was not trying to force him to walk by the dog or anything. And I just, I just wanted to share that. But there was just the sense of peace in that. Like, God is always in control. You know, whenever we feel uneasy or anxious or nervous about anything, like, he's with us. And all we got to do is, is call on him. You know, J Jacob knew I was there. Jacob knew that I, like, you know, he didn't do the most. He just, he needed a minute. And um, God's just in that way. He knows. He understands. He knows exactly who we are. He knows exactly our intentions. He knows exactly where our heart is. Um... You know, he's the creator of all things. He is the Alpha and the Omega. And I just wanted to share that because it was just, I had to share that that sense of peace that I felt in that moment. And um, all the times that I act like Jacob. You know what I mean? I act like, I think I got it. Oh, maybe I don't. Oh, God, where you at? Like, I know it's probably not a big deal, but this just feels like I need you right now. Like, I need to slow down right now. Um, like I need to take a moment right now. When I find moments of peace like that, I just want to thank God because I get to experience and I am experiencing what that feels like. And it feels, there's no other comparison. There's, there's no other feeling like it. So I just want to share it. And I'm gonna and soak this time up with the boys, but I, any moment that I have like that, I do want to share it with you guys because it's just a good feeling. And if I enjoy this feeling, I know someone else who's looking for those kind of moments in life, you'll enjoy it too. So, yeah, I'm going to go watch them be kids. You got your scooter now? No. Well, you just got off of it. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're going to reach. All right, okay, but you got to be quiet, okay? You got to be quiet, okay? So we're gonna read a color of his own. Okay, it says parrots are green. Later, came, he walked out into the green grass. And there he met another chameleon. Yay, chameleon! He told his sad story. Won't we ever have a color of our own? I'm afraid not, said the other chameleon, who was older and wiser. But why don't we stay together? We will still change color wherever we go, but you and I will always be alike. Where's that? Let me see. I want to see. It's right where? What color is it? What's that, butterfly? It's right here. Oh, right there. It's, it flew away. Good eye, Jacob. Wow. Hey, that every snail we find, his name is Gary. Uh -huh. Okay. So I all the snails games. are Gary. Okay. Mm -hmm. When y'all say Gary, I know you're talking about a snail. Okay. Mm -hmm. Might not be the same snail, but it's a snail. Okay. Mm -hmm.